Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Recently, I've seen a lot of people online talking about ancestry DNA and how taking the DNA test has helped them uncover their genetic background. So I became curious myself and decided to take the test. Now, if you didn't already know, Ancestry DNA is the largest genealogy company in the world and has helped millions of people connect with their origins. And while the testing process might take some time to complete, the results I got about my DNA were astounding. They helped me learn new things about my heritage that I didn't know before. But is the DNA test really worth it? Well, let's find out. And by the way, if at any point you'd like to check out Ancestry DNA for yourself and learn more about your genetics and your heritage, check out the link in the description below to save you up to 60% off. Okay, so now let's explore some of the reasons that so many people choose to take a DNA test with Ancestry DNA. First, learning about your ancestral origins makes you appreciate your cultural heritage and gives you a sense of belonging to a larger community. And secondly, Ancestry DNA has one of the largest DNA databases in the world, meaning that it's like for you to find long lost relatives who have similar DNA. Plus, you can reach out to these people and make new connections and friends. Now, they also provide an ethnic background report, which means that you'll be able to learn about the diverse genetic composition in your DNA. And this can help you participate in different cultures and appreciate their beauty. Now, while Ancestry DNA does not include health reports, they do provide other interesting information. There's the polygenic risk score, which identifies traits related to your personality, and it'll let you know how likely you are to be extroverted or introverted. And lastly, Ancestry DNA has helped many people with family mysteries that went unresolved for generations. So whether it's confirming or dispelling rumors about your family lineage, DNA testing will help you find the answers and gain a clear understanding of your past. And Speaking about family history, one of the stories that got me really interested in DNA testing was when I learned about how Pamela Adlon was able to solve a mystery about her heritage using Ancestry DNA. What happened was that there were rumors that her grandfather, Leonard Lease, was not actually her biological grandfather. So she decided to take the DNA test to find out the truth. Ancestry DNA's researchers compared Pamela's mother, Marina Elise's DNA, with millions of others in publicly available databases. And surprisingly, they found around around 250 matches, but none of them connected Marina to Leonard. Next, they traced Marina's biological grandparents to Benjamin and Rose Walter, a married couple living in Birkenhead in the early 20th century. One of their granddaughters, Gloria, was alive and living in upstate New York. She agreed to help and took a DNA test so that they could compare her genetic profile with Marina's. Now, the moment of truth came out when Pamela and the researchers examined the results and found out that Marina and Gloria shared about 25% of their DNA in total. The astonishing truth was that Gloria was Marina's half-sister. And this discovery brought immense joy and relief to Pamela and her family because not only did they finally solve the mystery of Marina's biological father, but they also discovered a whole new family, her long lost sister who was alive and well at the age of 83. Pamela's mother Marina was overjoyed to learn the truth and to see a picture of her biological father, Joseph Walter. Now it's stories like these that inspired me to take the DNA test myself. The process was really simple. All I did was order a testing kit from Ancestry DNA, which was delivered delivered straight to me. And inside the kit was instructions for providing a saliva sample. And once I collected it, I sent it back to the laboratory in the prepaid package. From there, they'll analyze your DNA and send you the results. Now, in addition to these results, Ancestry DNA also offers a range of other features. One feature that I personally use a lot is the family tree that I've built on their platform. The way this works is that you can connect with a global community of people who share common ancestors and build a family tree together. And as you build your family tree, you can also share it with other relatives who have also taken Ancestry DNA tests, creating a network of shared knowledge. Now, combining your research efforts with other relatives also helps create a more accurate representation of shared heritage. Plus, it doesn't stop at names and dates. Ancestry DNA also lets you share historical documents, photographs, and personal stories. Some people even found out that they've inherited lands and riches from their ancestors with this feature. Now, it's important to mention here that the reports are not 100% accurate because of the complex history of human migrations, but they're still really close. And features like the genetic communities and DNA circles help you confirm information and interact with other people. Okay, so let's see how much Ancestry DNA costs. Now, they offer different plans for testing kits and memberships. The DNA test kit is around 100 bucks, and for a buck more, you'll also get the World Explorer membership. 
At around 200 bucks, you can get the Ancestry DNA Traits Kit plus the All Access Membership. So if you wanna get a kit to test your own DNA, remember to check out the link in the description below to get that discount that I mentioned before. Now, it's also worth noting you can purchase the membership subscription separately, which provides different levels of access to Ancestry DNA's database. These memberships are billed monthly after a free two-week trial, which begins as soon as you sign up. So the US Discovery membership, which starts at around 22 bucks a month, gives you access to all US records. And the World Explorer membership, which costs around 33 bucks a month, gives you access to records of over 80 countries in their database. And if you want complete access to the database, including global military records, then all access membership provides you with that for just about 50 bucks a month. Now, many people are concerned with privacy when it comes to sharing personal information like their DNA. But Ancestry DNA takes privacy really seriously and has measures in place to protect your information. When you send in your DNA sample, Ancestry DNA makes sure that your personal details, like your name and address, remain private. Plus, you'll have full control over who can access your results, and Ancestry DNA won't share your genetic information with anyone else without your permission. And you can manage your privacy settings throughout the testing process. While Ancestry DNA has a large database of DNA samples, they don't directly share your data with other people. And if you ever change your mind or decide to take a step back, Ancestry DNA gives you the option to delete your data or deactivate your account at any time. So to wrap it all up, Ancestry DNA has helped many people in learning about their lineage. And although it's not perfect, I recommend Ancestry DNA to anyone who wants to uncover their genetic heritage and discover the information hidden in their DNA. And so that's going to be it for today. If you have any experience with DNA testing or any questions at all, leave them in the comment section down below. And remember to check out the link in the description to get up to 60% off to start exploring your genetics. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.